Capricorn. Welcome to your January monthly tarot reading with me. This is Brooke. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. This is the January monthly. Happy birthday to Capricorn out there as well. Everybody who's December Capricorn, January Capricorn, happy birthday to you. Let's get started. I've already pre-shuffled and let's jump in and see what's happening for you. And I apologize for the delay in getting out these videos, but we're here, and my moon's in Capricorn, so many months, your moon sign can be more than your rising or your sun. Let's see, we're starting off with the Five of Wands energy for the month. There could be potentials for battles this month or going into the month of January if you have felt this. This could be verbal battles, arguments. This could be potentials for uh, other people fighting for the same cause. This also could be contention with other people in the workplace, family situations, relationships. We're coming out of the energy of some form of heartbreak or something attached to family. This could have been painful breakup, painful moment. This also could have been, for some, when I see the Three of Swords, could also indicate surgery, recuperation, something tied to family with the Ten of Cups energy. So this could be also over playing over from 2018. We may still be feeling or feeling these energies are also still caught up in these situations or circumstances, okay? There's also something that could be very much where you're defensive or triggered or something attached to a family situation, Capricorn, where you're still uh, not able to speak to that person without getting upset, okay, or get defensive or wanting to uh, engage uh, with that person or situation. Here we come out of the most recent past. We have the Hermit, which is Virgo, next to the Nine of Pentacles. So you may have backed away coming out of the most recent past and decided to kind of either back off, go it alone, recluse a little bit. Uh, there also could have been... Um, a need for independence from this situation. There could have been a need to break away from a certain situation with family, relationship. How many times can I say situation? <laughs> there is a sense of solo, independence, feeling independent, going it alone, okay? You may have decided coming out of the most recent past. And when I say recent past, that's not like the last several weeks. That could even be the last year. This need to break away, to be independent, to be on your own, to be solo in some form or fashion, okay? Many of you have maybe broken away from a toxic friendship or broken away from a toxic family, uh, narcissistic type energies or broken away from even a relationship. So there's this feeling of, being alone, being on your own, not being lonely per se, but being on your own, being more independent, doing things for yourself, etc. So going into the month, which the month is halfway over, we do have the Hierophant next to the moon. So the Hierophant can very much indicate marriage, can indicate traditional style type relationships. It's also a validation of some form of higher wisdom. There is something to be seen or to be gained, Capricorn, in terms of higher wisdom from the situation. There's also an element, and here's Pisces card. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be dealing with both. The moon tells me there's also an element of fluctuation, especially when it comes to how you're reacting to this. Back, kind of back and forth. Uh, mood swings, okay, ups and downs. There also could be an element of deception when I see the moon card as well. Capricorn, you may be feeling, if you feel that this situation to you comes across as, uh, they're telling me layers, layers of 
fluctuations, layers of confusion, layers of deceit, okay? That could be something attached to the family situation, relationship for some, marriage for some. There's an influence or an element of real mystery, but also at the same time, a feeling of deceit attached to this as well. So that may still be at play for you this month if you are feeling that or if you have felt that already. There is something that is coming about for you with, especially in the next two months, relatable to this situation. With the Page of Pentacles, with the Two of Wands, this could also involve finances or money for some or even job. So there is a message that may be coming in terms of release of money, money that needs to be owed to you. This also could be short, small amounts of money. The Page of Pentacles is also the student. So this could be applicable to university or college students as well, especially with the Hierophant here. This is higher institution, government. This also could be government for some especially if you're in the United States and you're furloughed right now because our government's on a partial <clears throat> shutdown. There could be something in relation to that for those that are watching. So there's an indicator here to me that, and especially going forward in the next two months, this is the waiting period. This is attachment to money. Something is progressing we may not see it until February or March, okay? But something is definitely on the table that has not been yet released that that may be where the uh, upsetting, passionate nature of the Five of Wands comes in for, for some dealing if you are dealing with the furlough. So, and then it could be family for some, and then it could be relationship for some, and it can be workplace for some. Here we come in with the sun next to the seven of cups. I do see success or a successful outcome, especially if the sun is in the position of outcome is a yes answer. However, there's a lot of fantasy and confusion. There may also be things that are said uh, or something may be presented to you where you may have to really read between the lines. There could be a lot of delusion or fantasy uh, or someone presents it in kind of a confusing manner, okay? But there's a successful outcome, but at the same time, there's kind of like a lot of confusion, a lot of uh, confusion in terms of how you feel about it. A lot of, it's like, yes, the, finally, this is, great, we're having positivity again, we're having success, but at the same time, you may not be feeling so secure. You may also be feeling very confused. You may also be feeling a bit like, did okay, did this make any sense? Or this is, did we fix this? Or is it fixed? Because this is, you know, great that we're having a good outcome, but I'm still lost, I'm still confused. All right, so there could be feelings of that emotionally with the Seven of Cups energy for you, Capricorn. Interesting reading, Capricorn. I hope that that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And have a great month. I'll see you very soon for your February monthly. Have a great month, and I'll speak to you soon.